A couple days ago, I went online looking for an example of how to create the slow motion effect in Final Cut Pro. I couldn't find any video of it. The only examples out there were with uh, Adobe After Effects and Premiere. So this is going to be an example of some footage shot with a Canon T2i at 720p and 60 frames per second. A shot of the cat. And this here is an example of what things will look like at the end after you've run it through Cinema Tools and Final Cut Pro. The cat's movements are a little bit slurred. Nice dreamy effect. It's very soft. All right, let's open up Cinema Tools here. All right, we're gonna go to File, Open Clip. One note before we do this. Make sure that you have a backup copy of the file you're going to conform because the conform effect will be applied on your original file. So clip here, open it up. We got it right there. If we do an analysis of it, you got your resolution, you got your frame rate, you got 59.94. I want to conform this to 23.98. So you click on this conform button here. This pop-up comes up. There's a drop down. You select, you can select what you want 30, 29, 24, etc. We're going to use 23.98. So let's click on conform. Boom, it's done. All right, if you go back to the footage, the original file we used, you can see the frame rate has been adjusted. Now it's at 23.98 and it's starting to look slow motion. All right, now let's go to Final Cut Pro. We're going to import that clip here into my project. The project setup is ProRes 720p and 23.98 frames per second. Let's import it. Right click, import files, select our clip. We got it here in the bin. Let's drag it over here to put it into our timeline. This little message tells you that your project is going to be adjusted based on the settings on your clip just click no you don't need to adjust it alright we got it here on the timeline I'm gonna trim it a little bit clips a little too long for for exporting it quickly so I'll delete that alright we got the clip so you click on the clip you right click then you go to change speed I wanna set it to sixty percent you can use whatever you want just use trial and error see what looks better for you make sure that frame blending is checked and hit OK. There we go. The next step, really simple, you go to File and we export it. I use uh, QuickTime Conversion. Uh, label it. And make sure it's set to whatever you want it to be. I'm using H.264 for the compressor at 24 frames per second and 720p. Hit OK and then Save. And there you have it.